What up guys, it's Mike. So I mentioned a big part of me moving to Utah was for me to work on myself. And a big part of that was also to chase new life experiences. I'm actually in a big rush right now. I've been going up and down the stairs because I'm running late. Uh, I'm doing something new, something I've never done before, which is going on this like retreat for the weekend. It's like a wilderness yoga camping retreat. So yeah, I heard about this retreat through this rapper that I kind of met through Instagram. So he was doing something at this retreat and he mentioned it and I said, fuck it, I'm gonna go. Uh, so today is Saturday and I decided like Thursday night I was going to head out to this. So super last minute. It's going to be really dope. I just got all my things packed. I'm running super late. But yeah, I'll bring you guys along with the journey. I'm fucking sweating right now. I'm stressed out, but it'll be cool once I get on the road. So I was running really late this morning and I actually didn't eat anything until I was already on the road. And I ended up grabbing Chick-fil-A, which I already feel bad about morally. But like, you know, I'm hanging out with a bunch of like hippie vegans. Do you think they're going to be able to like smell it on me like will they know will they just look at me or like when i talk they can just smell it yo mordecai come over here i think this guy had chick-fil-a for lunch bro <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're gonna find me and they're gonna kill me in my sleep over this shit was too beautiful not to see holy shit damn but yeah i'm gonna keep going on the drive shit all right so i'm on this fucking road i'm like five minutes away and there's so many rocks i hope i'm not gonna fucking get murdered out here like i'm literally in the middle of fucking nowhere right now so apparently the property that we're at is uh, like 200 acres or some shit. So yeah, I see a spot up there where a bunch of cars are. So uh, I'm assuming that's where it's at. I know this event had like 150 tickets max. So it's probably where people are at, but it should be pretty fucking dope. I'm really excited for this, man. Cool, so I just got here. I just literally just parked my car. Motherfuckers riding horses right outside. This is so dope. Yeah, so I just checked in and it's already a fucking experience. It is super dope. The vibe is super sick. Uh, everybody seems to be very like down to earth and just pretty fucking cool. Um, so yeah, I guess there's like live music and like group sessions and shit. So it should be really cool. I'm really excited for them. Uh, I'll figure out what I'm going to exactly. Uh, but before I do that, I actually need to set up my tents because it's a camping event. I have never set up a tent in my life. And I have a feeling I'm gonna have some trouble. Like I said, I've never done this shit before ever. Like even as a kid, I don't even know if I've been in, well, maybe once, but I've never set up a tent. Uh, so we'll see how this goes, dude. I'm kind of worried. I mean, I read the instructions and like, they seem okay. They seem pretty straightforward, but I don't know. I always hear that this shit's hard as fuck. But I fucking did it. Let's, Let's fucking go. What are you gonna do, huh? Fucking bitch ass tent. What's up, bro? Fucking pro gamer, dog. What the fuck? No, uh, so it took like 25 minutes. Fuck yeah, I'm so happy about this shit. I, uh, see, so yeah, I picked the camping spot kind of far away. Just because I'm not really sure what to expect. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep. I don't know if people go ham. I don't know if it's like fucking a mini Coachella. I really don't know. But I do know I'm going to soak my fucking feet in this creek ass thing. Dude, this is incredible, man. Look at this shit. It's like a yoga meditation thing. What the fuck? Yo, what's good, guys? So we just did the uh, cacao ceremony, which was actually fucking dope. Basically, it's a street of cacao mixed in with some like cinnamon and some other stuff. Um, yeah, it's a great experience. It's been fucking cool. The fire ceremony is about to start, so we'll get some of that. But yeah, catch you guys in a sec. Fire. <laughs>
Yo, what up guys? So, it's Sunday morning. I'm just waking up. Don't know what time it is. It's like eight, probably 8, 8.30 or something. My phone's dead. Do you guys hear that? I don't know exactly what it is, but I think it's just time to wake up. Yeah, so yesterday was actually really rad. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I just went with it. And it was really nice. It was cool. Um, I was able to just kind of like bond and kind of talk to people and break out of my shell a bit. So that was sick. Uh, made some friends. And then, um, yeah, like I said, I'm just waking up. I'm going to get dressed. Try to find some breakfast or something. See what's going on. I think there's yoga at 9 o'clock. I think this is the 8 o'clock ceremony thing. So 9 o'clock yoga. So I'm probably going to do that. And yeah, I'll bring you guys along. We'll see how the day goes. Hope it's fun. Peace. So I'm at the reflection pond right now, just kind of chilling. Uh, I feel like way more relaxed and grounded and like connected with people. I think during the pandemic, it was really easy to like isolate and just be away from everybody and like not want to be close to people. So this has been a really good experience. It's been really fucking cool so far. But yeah, I'm not sure what other things are going on today. Uh, we just did a bunch of yoga. I heard there's going to be some like live animal experience with like a barn owl and some sort of eagle. So I'm going to do that for sure. <laughs> that's so rad. I know, that's yeah. <laughs> I'm done with my photo up. Would you mind holding this if I go with that? Yeah. Yeah, is that cool? May I? Her name is Ruby. Oh my gosh. That's so What kind of eagle is it? She's a red-tailed hawk. Cool. Kind of looks like an eagle, but an eagle would be even larger than her. She weighs about four pounds. An eagle could weigh up to 12. Wow. More pounds. This is the best time of my life. We have a wide diversity, but we can all interbreed. It's just like dogs have a very wide I have a chihuahua shepherd. Um, oh, it's so cute. It. Oh. The screech sound she makes is her kind of food call. Oh, that wasn't a mouse. She thought that call. was a mouse. Oh, it's not a mouse. <laughs> I need a food call. <laughs> Monday morning, just got packed up, got my tent in the car, and it's a bit bittersweet. Uh, it was a really dope weekend, had a lot of great experiences, still have a lot of talks about with you guys when I get back home. Um, but yeah, it was really rad, just sat, kind of sad to see it go, but yeah, it was definitely an experience. Honestly, never <laughs> had anything like this before, it was fucking rad. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna finish packing up, say my goodbyes, and get back home. I couldn't leave without saying hi to the cows. Hi cows, you don't wanna be my friend? No? Maybe that's just how life is sometimes. All right, well, <laughs> I, think, uh, I think I've seen what I came here for. So I'm finally back home and what an experience that was. It was seriously just a very eventful weekend to say the least. I think the first thing I wanna mention is just the people there were so amazing and <laughs> different uh, in terms of like their normal interactions. Before we get into details, I'm just gonna warn you guys, I'm coming from a very chill place right now, a very loving mindset, um, especially being around everybody that was there. It was all about love. Being there and being around people like that was just way different than my normal life. I think living day to day and going through our own difficulties and experiences, and at the end of the day, you know, we're all just humans and we should care about each other and love each other and be there for each other. And that was the entire vibe that I got from being there. Like even within the first couple minutes of being there, like people were being so fucking nice to me, asking me like how I was, what brings me there. And they were being very genuine. It wasn't just small talk. These people were asking me like, how am I? You know, like genuinely asking. And if I didn't say like, it wasn't, you know, I wouldn't respond with an autopilot like, I'm good. 
they'd ask me how I am. And when I'd respond genuinely, we'd have a conversation about it or we'd have different conversations about different things. Yeah, and I think the overall vibe of just loving each other and being connected and caring about each other just really set up for a cool weekend. It was just really easy to relate to everybody. It was really easy to talk to anybody at any point throughout the weekend. I had so many conversations with people about the most random things, about life, about emotions, about experiences. And like all these conversations would just come up like super randomly. Whereas normal like day to day life, like, you know, you'd have to befriend somebody and you would have to get really close to them before you're able to let yourself be emotionally vulnerable. And people were just so open there. I thought it was fucking amazing. And it really let me feel welcome throughout the whole weekend. Number two, in terms of the dope things that I saw there was definitely the meditation and yoga. That's the main reason I went. Uh, I've been going through a lot of shit in my personal life. And I just really felt the need to be connected to nature and take some time away. And like, you guys know, I get anxiety and panic attacks and shit. While I was there, I had nothing, like nothing happened at all. Like I didn't feel anxious. I didn't have any panic attacks. I didn't even like really get symptoms of anything. So it just kind of showed me that like being in a spot, you know, maybe being in nature and being around people who are caring, but also the meditation and like spending time away from things that stress me out just really helped me out a lot. And honestly, it just kind of opened up my eyes to how much I don't meditate and how much time I don't spend away from these stressors. So yeah, at least I'm starting to become more aware of these things that stress me out and things that I need to spend time away from. And number three is being around nature was just beautiful. It was so cool to, you know, take this crazy drive out into the wilderness. This place is like two and a half hours away and I had to drive through a couple like national parks and through mountains and shit. And I've never really done that, obviously, since I just moved here. Uh, I haven't done that in Utah yet. So everything was new, everything was fresh and it was fucking beautiful. I saw cows like grazing right off the highway at the national forest. But yeah, just spending time around animals, spending time in nature and the wilderness was really good for me. And I really enjoyed that part. Uh, I enjoyed it so much actually that I, I wanna go camping in the next couple weeks, maybe in the next month or so. As fall starts to kick in, I imagine the leaves are gonna start getting a lot nicer, the weather's gonna get really nice, uh, and changes are gonna be happening in nature. So I really wanna be out there, really wanna get into the habit of going camping or hiking every once in a while. And either way, worst case, I'm just getting outside time, I'm getting some vitamin D and I'm getting some exercise in. So it's no harm. And yeah, the last thing that I loved about being there was learning about spirituality and my own spiritual self. I've never really been one who's been religious. Like I was brought up Catholic, but I never really bought into it that much. And religion wasn't just something that I really had a relationship with growing up. Uh, I think I grew up like agnostic, atheist, and just not really caring too much. While I was at this retreat, I actually had the most insane experience. So this happened during a spiritual healing massage, which I didn't even know what it meant at first. And I still don't really know what it means. All I know is that I had the most wild fucking like, like this is coming from someone who doesn't really believe in anything and doesn't really subscribe to religion, but it was just fucking wild. There was a point where like, my eyes were closed and I felt like I was dancing with energy and like, it was just so fucking weird. And again, this is like coming from somebody who usually doesn't believe in shit. So like, it was actually pretty fucking wild. Um, I kind of walked away with not really understanding what I experienced, but I'm kind of open to the idea of a higher power, like open to the idea of something more than just living this life and dying and that's it. Uh, not to get too dark on you guys. So yeah, those were kind of the, so yeah, those were the highlights of the trip. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, those were the highlights of my trip. This is something I definitely want to do again. I met a ton of people who go to similar types of events. So I'm definitely gonna keep my eyes out and do something like this in the future. 100%, if you guys ever see some kind of event like this, do yourself a favor and go. Uh, I was really intimidated. I didn't know anybody, but I ended up making the journey by myself and I made a shitload of friends. I made a ton of connections with people and. Honestly, I walked away a way better person for now. We'll see how long it lasts. But yeah, I definitely want to do something like this again, 100% going next year. But yeah, that's all I got for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments. I'm glad to answer any questions you have. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, I am Audi. Thank you all for watching. Peace out. Bye. Farewell. Sayonara. Peace. <laughs> Later, guys. <laughs>